Good morning, folks. Welcome, observers. Today we've got space weather, particularly a look ahead to the weekend and next week. We'll hit severe weather, cool astronomy, and cycles of the sun and earth. We'll hit all of that, and we're starting, as always, with the last 24 hours on our star. Where the eruptive activity has continued at the incoming sunspots on the north, at the very end of the sequence you'll also see a filament release southward on the left just behind the coronal hole which is also massive. While the big plasma filaments do appear stable this morning, the coronal hole and flare happy sunspots are turning to face us over the next 24 to 36 hours. Flaring is taking a break here this morning, we'll be watching her nap to see if it lasts. Top alert for tonight comes to the Midwest and Great Lakes area. Severe threats, including tornadoes, are likely. Wind damage, flash flooding, strong lightning. Eyes open in these areas today and this evening. Up next, we're going out to a baby star system. We are pre-planets in this one, but not pre-star water. Huge levels of crystalline ice surrounding the newborn version of our planetary system. Very cool. Water is made by stars and is everywhere. But our top science news today is an excellent new paper on long-term cycles of the sun and the Earth's magnetic field. Outside of the team having no balls and refusing to make definitive conclusions at the end about their connections, the cycle periods match, not just for the major cycles we discuss regularly on the channel, but others I'd never heard of. 18,000 year solar cycle. What? Anyway, this is the exact method and findings we saw a couple weeks ago from a different team from another part of the world, and if you recall, that team had the guts to say these were all connected. It's the foundation of Earth's disaster cycle going to hit again before 2050. And remember folks, this month's issue of Observer Review comes out today. It's not only the best way to put every month's new science in perspective, let alone remember it, but you get more than two years of issues on the sun, Earth's magnetic pole shift, the disaster cycle, the moment you sign up, hundreds of pages of the most important science of the last few years. And hopefully everyone saw the trailer for the upcoming documentary on the disaster cycle. One last expert to interview and then it's just editing and post. Our sponsor for the documentary is goldobservers.com. Gold Co. The financial backstop and safety net provided by gold and silver is unquestioned. Over time, it has held value as well as any commodity, and there is radiation protection and antimicrobial uses for gold and silver in the aftermath of what's coming. Catch up with serious preppers, fill the gaps, and let a group of observers help. Goldobservers.com. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.